All right, now, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you've got a fairly good idea what a tensegrity table is. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. Tensegrity. 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 But anyway, it's been a bit of a meme, a bit of a fun thing. I posted a video of this table, but made up with ropes. And it went well, but I found that it was disappointingly low in its load rating. So I replaced the ropes with chains. Now it's working really well. So let me set it up and show you. Boom, and then because of the chains, I can literally climb up on it. Sensational, so it can take my whole body weight. And I love the dismount. <laughs> oh mate, yeah! Hey, that's enough. Come on, you. So when it went huge, everybody kept asking me what was the final load of it. It got to about 25, between 25 and 30 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it was a bit disappointing. And it was really sloppy. So I wasn't happy with that in the end of it. But uh, my main thing was that when I tried to tighten up the ropes again, it failed at this point. See, it started to pull away the screws gave way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some support here go on this direction and the same on this one hopefully that'll help the issue and it'll maybe increase the final load don't know hoping my calculations are correct which i'm making up on the spot not really calculating at all i should be able to stand on it hopefully at least one of my kids will <clears throat> so i'll cut off the ropes got rid of them they were good but they're gone now and a mate at work has helped me out with these. So look at this, I've got chains. These are gonna anchor into the top and I've got bolts to adjust, welded to the bottom. And I should be able to pull it up nice and tight. I've got a chain for the center bit, welded at 60 degrees for the middle support. And that should work well, I'm hoping. So here's hoping, but I'm really excited. Last time I was a bit disappointed, but now I'm pumped, this is gonna be good. So first things first, what I've got to do is I'm gonna take this apart I'm going to re repair this stress point here, add the support going this direction. In order to do that, I need to remove the capping here. I also need to remove this piece here to get the chain into that spot. I'm going to have to recess into the timber to make room for the flat bar. And uh, that should work out well. That's the plan. So let's do it. You are, you're just beautiful, you are. Get out, get out, you Okay, there's my knots. Let's get rid of those. Here we are. Now we're going to replace it with these. Let's get it in there. Right, now to get the chain through there, I'm using a spade blade. Now this isn't always the best way to do it. It splinters a lot, but it'll work. So let's do it. Hole, but it works. Yeah, well, that works nicely. But we've got this sticking out, and uh, we're going to recess that into the timber. So let's do that. Right, this is one of my favourite tools. Let's plane this down so that this fits nicely. Let's do it. Due to time constraints, I've just planed that terribly, but you're never going to see that. Now I've got to put 
screws back in the same holes. I really want to do that so it looks the same, but that's going to strike the steel underneath. So what I'll do is I'll pilot hole through the steel and then screw to it. Okay, so that's done. The holes pre-drilled, they'll hold the steel nicely in place. Now I'm going to screw it back down and voila. Let's do that. Okay, so that's two chains installed. And here we've got two installed, nicely. Now they've got to get the third one down there. Let's do it. Ooh, coming together. Use the grinder, pull all that timber out to allow room for this. That way that chain's secured. And I don't think I need to screw through this. I don't think I need to. I think it'll be fine with that recess holding in. So if I place that, fix that in, tabletop, done. Got those chains set up. Now I've got to put a support here into there. And hopefully that doesn't, I hope that'll hold it up without removing the magical look of it. Okay, that's done. Now we've got a support there. So that should, that will increase this. Stop the stress point there. I had to remove this here. Sorry, this one here in order to be able to screw the top back in. But I've tightened that gap up. And this here is, is perfect now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll take my weight. It'll at least take one of the kids. So let's see what happens. Okay, next thing I need to install is I need to drill that in there, exactly where that was before, and we should be good. Let's do that. Okay, this is the anchor point underneath. <laughs> I'm so excited, this is gonna work, I'm sure of it. And I've, uh, I've uh, drilled into here, recessed the holes. Now I'm gonna put these bugle head screws in there. So all the weight bears on that. I put four in, hoping that uh, four will be enough to be able to take the weight. Done, got it done. There it is there. So they're fixed in, running fast out of line. But we've got this now to attach to the top one. Hey, beautiful dog, beautiful helping dog. You're my beautiful helper. Now I'm running fast out of line, but I've got this attached. Do my puppy, do my puppy. Got this attached here, ready to go. I've recessed these bugle heads into the steel so they don't sit too proud a little bit proud but i want it to be able to bite into the steel so we got that there that's attached now comes the easy bit i've drilled this out to 14 mil which it wasn't before using a bit the my welder lent me now i'm going to flip it up and attach the adjustable chains with the lock nuts oh <laughs> get excited oh i hope this works Okay, slight issue. I installed this one upside down. I gotta flip that around. <laughs> Cause the chains won't even reach. It's way oversized now. Dang it. Here we are, back again. Now I've just put some extra supports here to keep this piece here from flexing here in this direction. But also if I put these side pieces on, it's flexing that direction. So the 60 degree uprights here should stay directly over each other. Mate. It works, I can stand on it, I just don't like the flex of it. So I added that. Also did the same around here on the other piece. And it's looking really nice and solid now. So let's give it a test run. Something went crack. I can't see it. it doesn't make any sense. It's interesting watching it happen. Because here, on this side, I cannot collapse it. On the other side, I can. So somehow it's weaker on this side. So I can drop it down this side. Oh, with some effort. But it does come down. Let me do it. Got to do it. Let's see if it cracks this time. There we are, it worked. So it's down. I went crack again, you heard that. But where is it? I don't know. Come on, come on now, come on now. But I can't do that from the other side. All right, let's set it up again. All right, here we go. I want you to set it up. I lift it up and it makes this massive crack sound. But it stays. I can't figure where it is. Right. Same deal. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. It's all good, it's all good. 
for either. But I think I've reached, I think I've reached the point where I've got to as far as I possibly can with the design. I don't think I can go any further. Apart from that, the only other thing is to turn to metal, which I can't do. <laughs> so let the stand right. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What? <laughs> Give me a beautiful dog. Give me, give me. You do, lovely one. <laughs> Let's wind this video up. Old mate down under, love talking smack and building stuff. Well, this tail has been a lot of fun. Um, if you want to see more, more fun things out of pallets, hit me up on Insta or follow me on Reddit or Twitter. Um, but don't use Patreon because I have no idea how the heck that works. Um, also, sub, like, and share. Um, hey, if you've got an idea for another project similar to this one, uh, comment. Send me a link. Send me something through uh, any way you can possibly contact me. Suit yourself. Uh, but if you want something cool, let me know. I can literally build anything out of pallets. So now that I've got uh, a guy who can weld stuff for me, I've got chains that can work, and we can get things happening. So it'll be fun. Um, I've got a shout out to Cade from Texas for making this video look nice. Uh, dick for welding stuff up and um, props to my darling wife who uh, puts up my ADHD fixation on this <laughs> she's been good couldn't have done it without her I tell you um, but I'm gonna work on putting more content out like this semi-regularly so ideas comment them let me know see what we can do and uh, I'll, I'll upload as often as I can but uh, kids and corona and the whole bit are working out um, so the issues that I've had with this are the stress points, so right up here, but that comes down from my complete ineptitude when it comes to steel fabrication. Pallets are good, but they only do go so far. So it has worked in the end, but not quite as perfectly as I would have hoped, but uh, that's just my ineptitude. But it's good fun working out and I enjoyed it. Um, also, 44 Club, <laughs> if you want to drop Clayton through this, hit me up, I'll send her over. So I don't know what it takes to get something like this from South Australia to everywhere you guys are, but uh, I think it'll look cool with Clayton ripping through her. So let me know if you're interested. Um, keep being cool. I'm out. See you later.